Cole. with the looper again a tune called hold it what we used to play before our breaks and uh, yeah I'm, I'm using the looper with the uh, with the pod go wireless and uh, and this um, line six variax JTV Jim Tyler variax so uh, I was running through some of the sounds I'll probably uh, switch edit this because it's what uh 22 minutes now yeah, way too long but um yeah yep back to the looper so uh yeah this was quite a learning experience i ended up having to use freeform as the uh uh thing because i couldn't fit it in the bars well i don't have a click going on so and i would have had to turn on the click and you would have heard that so i just did a freeform loop no bar lines 
and um, had to try and remember how to play the song. I never actually played it on the guitar. I've only played it uh, on the drums. So <laughs> it's a regal tone song. Anyway, uh, yeah, using the uh, pod grow with the red shell, uh, same basic same uh, uh, thing that I used in the last video. Uh, the red shell presets, uh, and this is just one A. Well, I used I used a few different ones there, off and on. So uh, we'll see how that worked out. But uh, anyway, and I ran through the, the most of the sounds on this thing. I'm not going to explain it all because it's it gets complicated. I think anyway. This is the part of the show where I answer your questions and respond to your comments. So here we go. Mike Karens writes, Albert, love the stuff you're putting out these vlogs, on these vlogs. Very intimate and thoughtful. Question, your drumming from Tyranny and Mutation is mind blowing. Well, thank you for that, Mike. Where did recording drums fit in back then? Okay, so that's pretty, uh, that's a good question. Um, and then he asked, did you lay down tracks with Joe at the start? Rhythm guitars first? Different times recording these days, yes, it is different times. But uh, Tyranny Mutation, so that record, was recorded very quickly uh, with the whole band playing at once, Eric playing guitar most of the time, uh, Alan switching between guitar and keys, uh, Don playing uh, uh, rhythm guitars most of the time. I don't think he did any live leads. We overdubbed lead guitar and um, lead vocals and background vocals. We did all of that um, afterwards. We record. I believe we recorded the whole record in less than a week, like maybe two or three days for the basic tracks, and then another two or three days for uh, the overdubs. And that was it. Then they mixed it. We weren't really there for for the mix. We had to go back out on the road. We were gigging hard, man. So. Uh, a funny story though, when we did Hot Rails to Hell, the 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 track was it was raging. It was great, but I screwed up the something in the drum part. I don't remember why, but I said I've got to do it over again. So what they did there was it, we recorded it. I think on a sixteen track or maybe it was a twelve track. I think it was sixteen tracks. We did the first record at David Lucas's studio on it on 12 tracks, which was a mind boggler because we'd never seen so many tracks in our life. And then we went to Columbia Studios for the second record and, and it was 16. Oh my God. You know, that was the only time we ever, after that it was always 24. But so they, and I think they used like, it was 16 tracks and we used think six or seven tracks for the drums so they they didn't have any spare tracks so the, we I had to erase the drum part and then play along so the, I didn't hear anything they said how are you gonna do this I said just turn Donald's guitar up really loud that's all I need to hear is Don's guitar and so that's what we did and I played to his track so the drums on the original Hot Rails that hell are completely overdubbed to Donald's incredible guitar track. So that was a rhythm guitar first, I guess. Although he was playing to me, but he was doing a better job, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and it's so different, you know, as I've pointed out on how I do my, my drumming. My drum overdubs uh, these days. As a matter of fact, I've, I had uh, somebody, another drummer, come in here and overdub drums on one of the songs for Bombs Over Germany. So, and that was really pretty cool to, to see him struggle the way I do. <laughs> but it all came out great, so uh, I can't wait for you guys to hear it. My nephew Tom Bouchard says, Please come to Hawaii. 
We'd love to see you. And I would love to do that. And I believe I'm going to do it. Why not? You know, I'll make time. I'll make time to go there. So that's my plan. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Ring that bell if you want to be notified whenever I put up a new video. And uh, write your comments. And uh, maybe I'll... I'll be talking directly to you. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later.